you destroy the people. Um, one of the kids that the background who did this and he was calling his friends to come and and his friends were helping him do this, do that. He told the people that uh, you know it's not like his father. His father has given him some comfort in his own case. It's not going to be at the end of the day. His kingdom crashed. Crashed. I pray that you will choose right through the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are looking at Ecclesiastes chapter 10 <coughs> from verse uh, 16 to 18. Without any doubt, uh, the issue of choice is uh, implied here. But I, I also want to add that probably the real issue here is the issue of food. I said children eat very early in the morning. The moment a child wakes up, they want to eat. Good leaders, according to this passage, Eat for strength, not for pleasure. So the question, the first question we want to ask ourselves is, why do I eat? Acts chapter 9 from verse 17 to 19, Acts 9, 17 to 19 tells us that Paul or Saul of Tarsus, as he was known there, after his conversion, was blind and was fasting. And when God wants him to uh, continue to start walking, he sent a man to him who laid his hand on him, and his eyes were opened. And then the Bible said, when he has eaten, he gained strength. Why do you eat? Do you eat just for the fun of eating? Or for a purpose? So that you have strength to do the work God has assigned to you? That leads to the next question. How often should you eat? <laughs> According to 1 Kings chapter 17, from verse 2 to 6, 1 Kings 17, from verse 2 to 6, God told Elijah, go and stay at church. I will command birds to bring you food twice a day, morning and evening. <laughs> I remember the first time I shared that passage with uh, pastors right here on this camp. <laughs> Some people didn't like my Bible study of that day. <laughs> because there are those who want to eat money, eat afternoon, eat evening, and then take a small one for before going to bed. <laughs> Twice a day, is what God recommends. Because if he can send birds to bring food twice a day, he could easily have sent them to bring food three times, or even four times. But he said to his prophet, you get breakfast, and you get dinner. As a matter of fact, in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27, 2 Corinthians 11, verse 27, Paul the Apostle says, I fast often. As an apostle who is an aggressive soul winner, he said, I fast often. What should we eat? 
What should be our major meal? Jeremiah 15 verse 16. Jeremiah 15 verse 16 says, I, Your word was found and I ate them. He says, The word of God is food. Make sure your main meal is the word of God. How much food should I take? And we're talking about physical food now. How much physical food should I eat? Well, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 13, Proverbs 24, verse 13 says, Honey is good, so eat honey. That's the one food recommended straight away in the Bible. But he added in Proverbs 25, verse 16, Proverbs 25, verse 16, he said, I have told you, eat honey because it's good, but eat just enough. Otherwise, you will vomit. In Proverbs 25, the same Proverbs 25, verse 27, Proverbs 25, verse 27, it said, Too much honey is bad. What that passage is telling us? Even whatever you consider your favorite food, do everything in moderation. In Philippians chapter 3, verse 18 to 19, Philippians 3, 18 to 19, the Bible made you care. When your belly becomes your God, you become an enemy of the cross of Christ. If your preoccupation is food, 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 then you become an enemy of the cross of Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 13, 1 Corinthians 6, verse 13, the Bible says clearly, food for the belly, belly for the food, the both of them are going to perish. Sooner or later, the one who is sitting will not be able to eat again when he's dead. And there's a big lesson to learn about all this issue about food and rulership. Food and dominion. If you eat where you shouldn't eat, you will lose your kingdom. For example, Genesis 25, from verse 29 to 34. Genesis 25 from verse 29 to 34. Esau was so hungry that he sold his birthright just for food. You must learn to control your appetite. As a result, in Genesis 27, you can read it from verse 1 to 41. Genesis 27 from verse 1 to 41. When he was supposed to receive the blessing that was meant for the firstborn, he came late. The Bible says in verse 30 there that just as Jacob was stepping out from his father's presence, it's okay. There are many Bible scholars who strongly believe that the reason Esau was late was that after he prepared the food for his father, he ate a little bit. In the process of eating a little bit before bringing the food to the papa, he missed his blessing. Watch your appetite. It's important that you be able to tell your stomach, I am your controller, you are not my controller. People have asked me, how are you able to fast 40 days and 40 nights? 
uh, and at times a little more. How? It's very simple. If I decide I'm going to fast for 40 days and 40 nights, I go to the calendar. Uh, what you call the one you stick to the wall. I'm gonna go there and I count the number of days and I tell my stomach, you see that date? That's the next time you are going to get food. What happens when your stomach begins to growl and to make a noise? Well, very simple. It reminds me it is time to pray. Because fasting without prayer is near starvation. So whenever I feel an urge to eat, ah, it is a season of prayer. Let you, your, your spirit, control your belly. Tell your belly, you are not going to rob me of my dominion. My prayer is that every one of us, that the Almighty God has decided to make a leader, and I believe that's every one of us, from now on, our belly will no longer be our God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Ebiti akaluro e utolo sonu paniya ina de se pata ki diwa se ti sofwa lema 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 agbole mo. I'm not <laughs> On compte ma fille en l'eau et non l'eau l'eau. On compte ma fille en l'eau. On bat 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 ma fille en l'eau. On je on je on turi ko ba lagbara ni ise fun ibalado o lo ye gba to ti wo mi pe ah oluwa ka lo se se keyan kan ke ni sa ba gba we ilo ko ma si wo gba bo ba bo ba gba di bi ka o asa o afe wo asuna but the poor lady, they drew up a summa. I wear yellow to one woolo man. All of us say this, okay? Well, 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 Campo B, I said, I said, what's the Campo? I said, Campo B, 1983. But if I were entity, I'm just if I were entity, I would say, oh, you need to run. But we are near Lubang, oh, you told me. to Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 About a young battle or your joke or come. And but to bad day, you can have to tea or one lap of papa. My tea for lying. And in my side, you got the one white you. On a shame from last side, you. Oh, but see me what you. Salaway, you're my telly. 
Wayo e me lo ga Ọlọrun ni pe ya ma je mu loju mo pe ta ba fe lo apere ti elija ngba to Ọlọrun ni ko lo to periti o le awon eya go nje wa fun le le ji loju mo a gbe wa la ro a gbe wa le ro le ko re awon eye o to Ọlọrun ba ni ka ma gbo nje lo le le je loju mo ma gbe wa o so pa Ọlọrun ni o le mi ni e e meji to ajo ti mo ko pa so de be ni ni o le pa go ni ministers conference awon alufa wa n gba o ko awon alufa na awon ti pe omo a wa fa ra mi ta a wa so ojo ye won ko lo da da ra ra won le meji to n to Ọlọrun so ni o ba fe ko je mejo o la gba da ti se to re ba wa ni wa se ni ki ma ju nje ni to bibeli ni oyin da o ti ka ma je ni so ka ma je la je ju ka ma ba bi yen ni bi ko ko to wu to ba te fe ra be ba le ti e bi jo lo fresi ba ni bi e nu du sa bi ti le ti pe wa ni ko ma je la je ju Mamba, mamba, na ni kuma je, awa agba ma ko we ma ni ko ke le meta, ulu yu akwaja, akwaja na ko yo ke solo ko aja, to bati fu bati fu ni ke ni fu ni ke jo fu ni ke ta, oti to, ori awa akwaja la yi a ti jo na ona fin so de, ulu de so yi le. To ba yo ju, to ba yo ju. O le ma fi ko le la ma su lora yi. Di pe li ni ba to ba di wu pe inu e di orisa. To jo no pa se fo. O lo ti di ota agbele bu Kristi. Wa yi o te ni o ba mo ba se n ka pa inu eni o le ma je ko luwe de bi to lo fe ko de o e ri apere isawu a ko te e bi npa lo de aburo e wa nje a o jere aburo nje o fun ro nje yen ni o fe je o yen ebi owo ni ka fi se na e wo la ko bi ebi ni keji beji ni wa o sugbe wa lo boko jadi to ba fe je o mi e je lati ni lo je ka ke bi o di akobi ki wo di keji a o lo n fara mo na a ebi fe pa yan ko an soro akobi amba fun lo nje ngba to ta ko to ma to ye ki baba e sure ile to ye ka ko bi o bo ri gba eh baba baba ti wa gbo lo awon ojo gbon so fun a wi pe bibeli ni bi jacob ti n jade o n jade were bayi ni pe se ko ti rin jina ni waju baba e ngba to gba re sori ta bo ti n jade bayi be ni so na de de lo ku ko ba lenu on awon ojogbon mi ni o si nbe ngba yen o won ni idi to ni idi to fi pa ede ni pe ngba to wa nje yen to o to o pe kini ti baba yi lo je yi ko na koko je to o nje lo nje lowo ti re e ko ja e yan la pe ma gba dura la ro yi oluwa ma je ke nu mi ko ba mi o nje ti ba je ti ma so re mi ni oluwa ma je je amen Ajá, boa tarde. Ajá, boa tarde.